Okay, unit number seven on percents. And this first section, 7.1, is on percents and fractions. Now you see percents uh, pretty much every day. If you walk into a store, you might see a sign that says 25% off, big sale. Or if you read the sports page, you might see that a particular basketball player makes 83% of his free throws and maybe makes 35% of his three-point shots. I mean, if you think about it, in the state of Nevada, we pay, we pay 8.1% sales tax. Uh, maybe we get 2% for our savings accounts and interest. Percents are everywhere. And so we need to have a, a better understanding and be able to work with percents. And uh, the, the start here is to know what a percent is. And a percent is a ratio. That's why this section falls the last section, because in the last unit, we were talking about ratios and proportions. In this section, we talk about percents, where, which is a special type of ratio, and we'll use proportions to help us solve percent problems. A percent is a ratio whose denominator is 100. If you look at this, cent comes from the same Latin word that we get century, which is for 100 years, or cents, like there's 100 cents to a dollar, or even the ancient Roman centurion, who was a, a Roman officer that was in charge of 100 men. Cent means 100, so per cent means per 100, and of course we use this symbol to represent percents. So if I have 45 over 100, this ratio 45 over 100, my denominator is 100, that's a percent. I write it as 45%. That percent sign means over 100. If I have uh, a variable over 100, P over 100, that means that that variable with that percent sign represents the same statement. This is P percent, P out of 100. Now, let's do a couple quick examples of that where we change percents and we write them as fractions. And of course, we're going to want to simplify. 39% means 39 out of 100. Now, 39 over 100 does not simplify anymore because there's no common factors greater than 1. 65% means 65 per 100 or over 100. Now, this one. Uh, as a fraction does simplify, I can divide top and bottom by 5. 5 goes in the top, 13. 5 goes in the bottom, 20. And I would write it as 13 over 20. Now let's take a couple of fractions and let's change these fractions into percents. Well, let's start with 9 over 10. We want to know how many is this out of 100. Well, to multiply uh, this 10, to make it into 100, you'd have to multiply by 10. I'm going to have to multiply the numerator by 10. I'm going to get 90. So this is 90%. And 2 fifths, if I want to know how many that is out of 100, why would I multiply times 5 to make it 100? Well, I would multiply by 20. So I'll multiply the top by 20. That would give me 40. 40 out of 100, or 40%. Now, there are some fractions that you should just know their equivalents as a percent. And I've listed five of them down there. There's more than that, but these five are the bare essentials. You should know that a half is 50%, a fourth is 25%, three-fourths is 75%, and then the two kind of weird ones with the fractions in them. One-third equals 33 and one-third percent, and two-thirds equals 66 and two-thirds percent. You should put those to memory. Okay, let's consider an airport security service searches the luggage brought to ticket counters by three out of every 10 passengers. If you're one of the persons in a group of 10 passengers, what is the probability that you will be chosen to have your baggage search? And we're gonna write the answer as a percent. Well, probability, this is experimental probability. We're looking at the probability that we're gonna be searched as three out of 10, because it's based out of 10 passengers and it says three of every 10. Now that would be the experimental probability, but they want it as a percent. So we wanna know how many is that out of 100? So 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 30, so it's 30 out of 100, or 30%. Okay? Now we're going to change the problems just a little bit, and we're going to work some problems where we're using percents or finding percents, and I'm going to show you a couple different methods to go about it. The first method is a little bit more direct. I'm going to change 25% into a uh, fraction here, 25%. That's one of the ones I asked you to memorize. That's one-fourth. Of means times in this situation. 
25% of 36 means one-fourth times 36, or 36 over 1, and that's 9. Okay? 75%, that's 3 fourths of means times 80. Uh, again, I'll put it over 1. 4 goes in that 1, goes into that 20. 3 times 20 over 1 is 60. So 75% of 80 is 60. Those are pretty direct problems because the percents were easily converted into fractions. Now the next couple of problems, I'm going to use a proportion to set it up. Now here it says what percent of 45 is 9. What percent means how many out of 100? What percent? Now what percent of 45 is 9? So that's 9 out of 45. 9 out of 45. So now I'm going to use a cross product, just like in the last uh, unit. That's 45x equals 900. I'm going to divide both sides by 45, and I get x is equal to 20. So the question says what percent, how many out of 100, x is 20, so it's 20%. The second one, where given the percent, it says 14 is 20% of what number? 20%, remember, means 20 out of 100. Okay, so 20% uh, of what number is 14? So that means 14 out of this number. This is the number that we don't know. This is our variable. So 14 out of x. I'm going to cross multiply. I get 20x equals 100 times 14, or 1400. I'm going to divide both sides by 20. And I get x is equal to 70. Not 70%. But 70, because it says what number, not what percent. Now you may have noticed when I wrote my 20 over 100, my 20 percent, I could have simplified this. I could have simplified this by dividing top and bottom by 20 and writing this as 1 over 5. And then that would have made the numbers a little bit smaller and easier to work with. You have to be on the lookout for, for situations like that to help yourself out. All right, now we're going to be uh, spending more time on percents. Uh, not just in this unit, but in other units uh, later on in the book. And of course, percents make up a big part of the proficiency, so remember to practice, practice, practice.